Hi, I'm Laura Manick, and we're back at my beach house in Shelter Island. I just came from a great weekend of entertaining. Uh, lots of friends and family coming in and out of these doors all weekend long. And I couldn't think of a more perfect pack to share with you this week than my summer loving pack. So whenever I'm entertaining, I love to have lots of white wine at the beach house, really nice and cold in the fridge. People are gonna come and go as they please, pour themselves a glass. So I'm sending you two white wines this week. Uh, one is a Gruner Veltliner, which is Austria's signature grape. It is a delicious, kind of white, peppery, light, refreshing bottle of wine for after the beach, and summer nights can get really hot, so it's really great to have this refreshing, chillable white. Um, we also have this Arnais grape, a very unique uh, grape normally growing just in Italy, um, but this one is being planted in Sonoma, and it's from our friends at Segazio. Uh, summer wouldn't be the same without a little bit of rosé at the beach or at the pool. So I'm sending you a delicious bottle of wine. It's from the Syrah and Grenache grape, which is one of my favorites. And it's really a deeper and more complex rosé than you're used to seeing. And then last but not least, you know, sometimes you just want to grill on the barbecue and you need a really refreshing, light body, floral red wine. And so this red wine is from the Dow region, from a grape called Cheyenne, which is also known as Mencia. These wines are fabulous. You can grab a couple of packs, maybe one or two, keep them at your beach, and you'll be all set for summer. So our first wine is Von Haus. It's called Fafel Gruner Veltliner, and Gruner Veltliner is Austria's signature grape. So Gruner Veltliner, why do I love it? Um, for me, Gruner Veltliner is like Sauvignon Blanc in that it's a refreshing, light, or medium body white wine. Uh, generally has a lot of notes of citrus, like lemon, grapefruit, lime, um, even uh, has some of that same like savory quality that you find in a Gruner, uh, Sauvignon Blanc rather. Um, and Gruner Veltliner can be like really peppery. And one of my favorite things to do, and I hope you do the same thing, is just to like have that aha moment when you really smell something someone says. It's kind of like the power of suggestion. But for me, this is like lemon pepper and thyme and has so many of those like really cool vegetal notes that I associate with Gruner Veltliner. Like I think about minestrone soup, like just simmering uh, with like celery and lentils and um, just like veggies, and this is that. It, it, I found that it smells like vegetables, but it has like a really savory note, and one of my favorite things to do in the summer is to go to all the farm stands, you know, find the local um, corn or mm, spring peas, or of course in the summer, tomatoes, and it's the same thing when you're cooking at your summer beach house. You want like fresh, clean, light food. You want fresh, clean, light white wine. Same if you're going to the beach, you know, a rich buttery Chardonnay might be good for like other times uh, in the year or other nights, but at the beach you just want like refreshing, I might even say like gluggable wine. So I'm just going to take a sip here. Mm. Gotta love Austria. Mm. They're one of the only places that grows this grape. And you know, a long time ago when I first had Gruner, I was like, oh, why aren't more places growing this grape? It's just so incredibly complex, yet so amazingly simple. I hope you enjoy it with the pool and some grilled chicken salad and a nice like mango salsa or even fish tacos. The second wine in your pack is from a producer you may have seen in previous packs that I love in a Sonoma. So Segazio is the family, they've been making wine for 17 generations. Arnais is the grape in this case, and Arnais is normally found in the Roero region of Piedmont. And in this area, which is just northwest Italy, you find this grape. So um, I love to think of Arnais as like a really beautiful floral bouquet. It's like white flowers and like some kind of like gardenias and lilies, but at the same time, it doesn't taste floral. Like it isn't sweet, doesn't have like that soapy uh, smell or taste. Um, and it, it tends to be a little bit richer than um, like Sauvignon Blanc or Gruner Veltliner. It almost has the texture of Chardonnay without the vanilla, buttery, and cream. So I wanted to pick, you know, some white wines for this pack because it is summer loving and we tend to drink more white wine in the summer and rosé than we do red wine. 
which is not to say that red wine is not appropriate for summer, because it totally is. As you can see, I put one in the pack, but it's just more like as the weather gets warm, people tend to want something cool and cold to refresh them. So this one is definitely the richer style of the whites and maybe more appropriate like after the beach when you're just cooking dinner and you have a bunch of family and friends coming. Um, mm. The texture is like a lemon curd and like creamy, delicious, even perfect for a bowl of you know pasta or if you're gonna do like a clam bake and you want some lobster and corn and fresh like steamed clams like this wine has the body and the texture to stand up to heavier foods but still finishes like almost like with a bitter almond refreshing zippy finish so I hope you enjoy this one the third one in the pack is uh, really as you can see like electric colored rosé and rosé is definitely having its rosé moment it's all the rage everyone loves rosé these days um, and I actually love rosé as well. I think it's the perfect summertime drink or beverage or wine, obviously, because it's somewhere between a white and a red. So in case you don't know, all grape juice is white and red wine gets its color because you leave the skins of the grapes in contact with the juice. So as a result of soaking, if you will, white juice with red skins, you'll get like this deeply colored red wine. So in the case of rosé, general, generally what it is, there are a few different ways to make rosé, but it's a gentle pressing or like a really soft pressing or short pressing of the juice with the skin. So in this case, we're doing 50% Syrah and there's also Grenache at about 40% and Cinso 10%. So imagine these three red wine grapes being plucked from the vineyard and then being gently soaked for like 24 hours, 36 hours with the white juice until it gets this kind of rosé, onion skin color. Um, and then as well, because the skins hold a lot of the texture and sometimes tannin, you'll get much more flavor from rosé than you would say from a white wine. So Chateau Saint Martin de la Garrique, um, this is their rosé. Mm. It's from the Côte de Langu Languedoc, which is this beautiful region in the southeast part of France. And this wine is just insanely textured. It's so beautiful. It's just like a silky kind of juicy watermelon. Um, not that watermelon is silky or, well, it definitely should be juicy, but it has all of those properties of like strawberry and hibiscus and tea. Um, and then just the texture is like, I, I can't explain it, very much like silk. Mm. That's delicious. It really makes you want to just like grab a couple packs of these uh, wines and just like stock your beach house for all summer. Um, perfect for burgers or for grilled hanger steak or anything really just on its own. It's so good. The fourth wine and the only red wine in the pack is a red from a region called Dao. Actually, when I was in Dao in Portugal, um, they actually pronounce it down, like you're going down, but let's just say it's Dao because it's D-A-O. Um, and this is a really cool grape. Uh, you might have heard of this grape. It's called Mencia in other parts of Spain, but in this part of the Dao in Portugal, they call it Cheyenne. And this is a blend of mostly Cheyenne with a little bit of a grape called Alfa Chero, which might be the first time you've ever had Alfa Chero is, uh, as a result of these packs. And that's one of the things I love most about putting these things together. I'm like, there's no way you're just gonna go into a wine store on your own and say like, I have to have this Cheyenne or I have to try Al Pacito for the first time. So I hope you are enjoying like trying new things. But this red wine, I put it in the summer pack because I really was thinking about, you know, cooler nights um, here in Shelter Island and probably at most beach houses like by you know, uh, the bodies of water, wherever you are, um, it gets really cold at night and it's hot during the day and you're just sun-kissed um, and you really just want something that might be a little bit more than rosé and white wine, especially if you've been drinking that at the beach all day. And I just find right now I'm super into the idea of taking a light red wine and just sticking it in the fridge and serving it slightly colder than you normally would, especially with summer nights. 
And as well, like if you're just building a fire and you want like a nice glass of red wine after a long day, um, this is the perfect wine for you. So uh, let's go ahead and taste it, shall we? Mm. I think it's like more the body of Pinot Noir. It's like light and sort of refreshing and silky in texture, um, but it has a little more um, a bite at the end. Like so, technically it's called tannin. So at the end, there's almost like this like slightly like gritty texture, like drying out your mouth. Um, not not like Cabernet, not like anything full body, but the wine is incredibly floral. So. Just like as you're taking a sip, you kind of smell like this really beautiful bouquet of like purple flowers and violets. And actually, um, it's it's a great bottle. I mean, beautiful label. And the wines were inspired by these flowers. And like the idea is that these flowers are really very much in the wine, which is why the name is Prunus. This summer love and pack has pretty much every color of the rainbow. It has a light white wine. It has a richer, um, kind of creamier white wine. It has a rosé and this beautiful, like magenta, um, kind of striking color. And last but not least, a red wine that's perfect for burgers and grills. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this pack, and it's always a pleasure making these videos because I feel like we're getting to know each other better. If there's anything at all that you want to see or hear or learn about via these videos, I hope you let us know on social media at The Weekly Tasting or my own personal, at Laura Manic. 